Okay, we will solve this one. Find the next three terms in the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So, hanapin natin yung next three terms. Okay, so we will use this formula. A sub n equals A sub 1 times R raised to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so yung given natin dito, A sub 1 is equal to 2. Okay? Yung kunin natin yung common ratio. So, yung common ratio is we have to multiply dito sa kay 2 para magiging 4. Okay, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32. So, yung common ratio is 2. Okay? So, hanapin natin yung next 3 terms. Yung pang 6, pang 7, saka yung pang 8. So, this formula, so, una is yung pang 6 term. A sub 6 equals yung A sub 1 is 2, okay, times yung common ratio na 2, okay, tapos yung N natin is 6 minus 1. Then A sub 6 equals 2 times uh, 2, so 6 minus 1 is 5. Okay, ngayon, uh, A sub 6, kita pa, equals uh, 2 times 2 raised to the power of 5, so magiging, so that is uh, 32, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that is 32, okay, so yung A sub 6, kita pa, a sub 6 is equal to 2 times 32 is 64. Okay, yung pang 6 term is 64. Another one, yung pang 7 term equals, dito na natin ha, 2 times, yung common ratio natin is 2, tapos 7 minus 1. So, A sub 7 equals 2 times 2 raised to the power of 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. And then A sub 7 equals 2. Tapos i-multiply natin to si 2. Anim na beses. So, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2, 64. So, multiply natin yan 64. So, 64 times 2, that is 128. So, pang 7 term is 128. Okay? Last term. A sub 8 equals 2 times 2 tapos raised to the power of 8 minus 1. So, A sub 8 equals 2 times uh, 2 raised to the power of 7. Okay, so A sub 8 equals 2 times multiply natin si 2 7 times. So, magiging 128 yan. Okay, so A sub 8 equals 2 times 128, that is 2, 5, 6. So, pang 8 term is 2, 5, 6. So, ito na yung next 3 terms na ating hinanap.